Good morning, guys. Good morning. Good morning, church. Good morning. See, everybody's happy to be here. I don't know about what's going on. Let me say it one more time. Good morning, Kelsey, Kayla, and Brother Peter. Good morning. morning. Well, today I have a story for you guys. And you know, I like, when I do my stories, I like the church to be involved. So, my first question is, you guys can answer or everybody else can answer. Who are the three, who can give me the name of the three faithful men in the Bible? Well, there it is. Can you say it one more time out loud? Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Exactly. There is a time way back in the day, before grandma, before grandpa, before all of us. There is a king. Who can tell me the name of the king? Nebuchadnezzar. Exactly. So the king was like, you know what? I'm going to build a big statue. What do you think he was building the statue for? Gold. Yeah, and gold too. So people can worship him. And then he said, everybody has to worship him. If you don't worship him, you know what's going to happen? Exactly. You're going to go to the fireplace. Good job. <laughs> Mrs. Vishak, you're doing a, you're doing a good job. <laughs> yes. And so when the time came, they, t they told the three men, you got to bow down. What do you think the three men did? They said, yeah. no, we are not going to bow down. What do you think? They were not going to go bow down. Kayla, what do you think? What do you think they didn't want to bow down? Yeah, well, because they said that they only worship one God and they will only bow down to God. So the king got really, really, really angry because remember the new law is if you don't bow down to the statue and worship it, you're going to be put in the fire pit, yes? Mm -hmm. So the, pit, the king got really, really angry and he said, put them in the fire pit, yes? yes? But they were like, you know what? We're not going to worship you because we're only worshiping God, Jesus, God, yes? So they put them in the fire, the fire pit. It was so hot. Even the God who put them in got burned, yes? Because it was really, 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 really hot. But they got in the fire pit. What do you think they did in the fire pit? Well, yeah, so they worship. And then the king looked and looked and looked. And what do you think the king saw? He saw. He saw. He saw four. Miss Bishak. She saw four men. Yes, and he was, who are the men? Shadrach, Meshach, and Jesus. And Jesus, yes. And the king was so shocked. And then when he came out, and they were not burned at all, and they survived. To tell you guys, we as Seminary Adventists, we only worship one God, yes? The true God who lives in heaven. So whatever you need, wherever you go to school, that's how you have to worship anything else. You got to stand up and say, I'm a Christian and I will only worship God, one God. One God. Okay, you guys? Amen. Remember that. We go to church on Saturday and we worship Kelsey and we worship and Kayla, we worship one, one God. God. Okay? Amen. Anything that you want in the world, you can call on, unto God and he will give it to you. Yeah? Because we worship. One God. We don't worship Buddha. No. no. <laughs> we don't worship nothing else and we don't bow down to nothing else we only bow down to pray to our only god which is jesus she called god jesus okay we only worship uh, worship jesus okay Amen. so who Amen. wants to get who wants to pray for me today well we <laughs> got the elder peter <laughs> everybody up <laughs> and elder peter please. okay let's pray our father and our god we thank you for the lesson that there's only one God, a Jesus Christ whom you sent to come to this world to die for us. We thank you, Father, that we have only one God who is in heaven and who wants to dwell with each one of us. Help us to open the door of our hearts and to invite you in to come and dine with each one of us, even with the little one. 
Be reminded when you were down here on earth, you told your disciples, forbid not the children to come to me. You are concerned about the little ones. And we thank you. You came to save the young ones and the old. We thank you so much for your salvation. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Good story. <laughs>